Hello everyone, and welcome to another Redstone video. In this one we're going to be looking at ways of having multiple locations being able to communicate via Redstone wires. So here we can see the most basic way of wiring together four locations, which is using just normal Redstone wires and normal repeaters. However, as you can see, this quickly becomes very complicated. I've just got four here, but you can imagine as I add more it would get exponentially more complicated to wire them all together. And of course, over long distances, this is going to use up a lot of redstone dust. Now one simple way you could make this slightly better is by using two-way repeaters. So here is a design made by CodeCrafted, and it's perfect for this, it's very fast and compact. Um, and by using these you can re remove a few extra redstone lines. One useful thing about these two-way repeaters is that you can determine which direction the signal came from by placing torches on top. When a signal comes from right to left, as shown here, the um, left torch will turn on, and vice versa. But this still isn't ideal, so I have come up with a way to compact this down to just one wire to connect everything together, and this uses signal duration as a kind of code. What this does is have each location has a corresponding signal duration, and when a signal comes in, if it's correct, then it receives it. This works by detecting if the signal turns off at the same time that a slightly delayed signal turns on. Now if these are wrong, then these won't line up perfectly, and so it won't let the signal through. It's quite a simple circuit, so you can probably see how to make it just by looking at it here. Now one thing to keep in mind is that you don't need to use buttons if you have lots of different locations. Can you imagine you'd have like 20 or something buttons, it could get very complicated. So what you can do is just use the repeaters as your selector panel. Um, so here I have just four repeaters and that allows me to have 13 different locations, with an every additional repeater adding three more. Once again this just uses one line to connect everything together, and uses the same two-way repeaters I showed previously. Now you may have noticed that I've been using comparatives in these detectors, essentially as, in, as torches, to invert the signal. Now this is because of a bug that's been in the game for quite a while now, which I will demonstrate really quickly. And the link to the bug report is in the description if you want to go and upvote it. Essentially, when two or more torches are powered with a two-tick pulse at the same time, one of them will do a two-tick pulse, like it's supposed to, and the others will do a one-tick pulse. Now this is rather annoying, and it stopped me being able to use torches in this video. You can see here as I slow it down, um, that only one of them works correctly and all of the others just do a one tick pulse. And, you know, hopefully this gets fixed soon and so you can make this detector a bit more compact. But that's about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed please do leave a like and consider subscribing. I will see you all next time.